Samuel de Champlain used his astrolabe as an instrument to position himself, at least partly, as he was conducting his explorations. When the Canadian astronaut Julie Payette visited the International Space Station last July, she brought with her a replica of the astrolabe. Samuel Champlain brought his astrolabe into unmapped territory, and he used the stars to navigate. Julie Payette brought our astrolabe to outer space for a journey amongst the stars. So we were creating history because history is not something only for the past. History is something for the present, and history is something that helps to shape and carry us into the future. And I'm going to ask her to join me on the stage, Julie Payette. We, the astronauts, have a lot of privileges. We, we get to fly in space and see the Earth from above and float in weightlessness. It's uh, an incredible experience. But we also have the privilege of bringing with us a few objects. Every single member of a spaceship can bring a few objects to celebrate our heritage, places and institutions that we care about, or our homeland. Aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour in July 2009, during my last mission, STS-127, we had the chance to take with us a replica of an astrolabe that had belonged to Samuel de Champlain, an explorer and founder of La Nouvelle France in the 17th century. There were many reasons why we chose to take this astrolabe. First, because the instrument itself is, was used by the navigators and the sailors then to find their latitude and to decide where they were. It was kind of the GPS of its time and it used pointing at the star to get in the right direction and that to us uh, explorers of the heavens uh, we felt that there was a bit of a connection there. We also uh, wanted to celebrate exploration then and exploration now uh, in uh, having the astrolabe with us in space uh, meant that the two worlds just reconnected. If I could choose a civilization that I'd like to live in, I would actually choose a civilization from the future. If we could travel in time, I would love to transport myself 500 years from now, 1,000 years from now, and see how we've evolved, if we've become better, if we've progressed, if we made the right choice during all those centuries, if we get along better. It'd be very interesting. That'd be big money to go and travel in the future.